today i am going to share something very special with you something which had been in my heart since long a research type of something which had been there actually it is a concept it is a concept from classics but a lost concept something which is only mentioned not elaborated and as someone who likes to revive the knowledge given by after our sages and who is into searching what they actually wanted to say their purpose i have experimented with it and this is what i will share with you but before i start <clears throat> let me make one thing very clear to you maybe there are some people who are teaching astrology just for the sake of teaching it who are doing consultation just for the sake of doing it but my purpose is altogether different i believe that when we practice some knowledge we also owe a debt towards it and specifically with something like astrology i think i have a debt towards astrology so that that debt is our sages have given us this divine knowledge and i should with the best of my knowledge that god have gifted me should use that knowledge for the betterment of people this is what i believe in my consultations so i just stay away from you know doing consultations the normal way people do my focus is more towards changing the life of everyone who consults me through my predictions and remedies and same goes with my astrology learning also my single purpose is to search the system of astrology that was propagated by our sages and that is now lost because of multiple invasions india had to go through right to restore the science in its original form and in doing so i do a lot of researches because certainly the knowledge that is now available is not in that form because of this particular reason my videos and what i teach in courses is directly from classics and my own research i don't like to copy anyone i think if any work is done before it is done before why should i do it again right for this particular purpose you will always find i always give something new what is not there already before because then drawing a line over a line is is a task and this channel also this channel is specifically meant for those who want to learn astrology who want to learn astrology learn it themselves and then try it on their horoscopes do predictions for themselves and for their family members is strictly astrology learning channel for those who want to learn astrology it is not a time pass astrology channel right if you want to get my views on your horoscope you have to take a consultation and this channel is only for serious learners not for not for non serious people okay so let me make it extremely clear first and the foremost thing before i go deeper into it right this first one now secondarily today's topic there is something no i will not give you much reference about it that will be wasting our time because the topic is huge but you know in astrology there is something about rays of the planets you know not rays in the conventional way there is light of the planet basically planets sun and moon you can see they are any time and you can see them in the sky sun in the daytime moon in the night time and you will be able to see them in the sky other planets also shine but they do not shine with their own light they reflect the light from the sun technically they reflect light from a star and because sun is the closest star they reflect the light from the sun right and in astrology there is calculation of how much rays are reaching to the person now as i am using the word rays and light those who know astrology many things were coming many things can come to your mind but as i have told earlier i don't do things which people have already done so i am not talking about any of it let be very clear about it i am very serious about every words that i use specifically while teaching or doing consultations right the light of the light at see what is happening the moment when you are coming out of your mother's womb 
the time when you are first being exposed to the environment according to my understanding whatever level of influence is there at the place where the person is being born as the person is first exposed to the environment of earth that much raise you say sun is having 100% impact mars is having 80% impact that impact gets photocopied on the fate of the person this is what is horoscope right so from the horoscope using the strength and weakness of the planet we see how powerful the planetary influence was or how weak the planetary influence was at the time of the birth of the natal and based on this predictions are made that is done based on strength also but in astrology there is something which is the light of the planet how much light the planet is giving right now at the birth time of a person now this light of the planet can be taken as a strength of planet that we already do this light of the planet can also be done with combustion and retrogression in retrogression planet is farthest away from sun gives maximum impact to earth in combustion planet is behind sun so the rays are not able to reach earth i am not talking about any of this right i am talking specifically about the concept of planet gets light from star and they reflect that particular light back so basically saturn is getting light from sun and because saturn is getting the light that light is getting the influence of saturn and that light is coming back to earth and at your birth moment the light of sun that is reflected back by saturn having the qualities of saturn are present in varying quantities and based on those varying quantities the impacts are made in your life which we try to predict using horoscope so coming to simple funda though whatever i have told up to this extent is astronomically correct but i am going a step deeper it now coming to astrology we all may know and agree about this point also that the base of vedic astrology is nakshatras now nakshatras are a cluster of stars in the sky and in that cluster of star there is one prime star that is known as yogatara now basically my concept is every planet in every nakshatra is either at a yogatara or in between two yogataras now because planets reflect light from the star technically it is reflecting light from the nearest star sun but the farthest star will also have some influence some influence some level of influence or other specifically those stars which are identified in nakshatra table in astrology because our sages have identified the stars in nakshatras they are not useless at any given point of time this you should agree so these stars are also putting the influence and according to me the effect of a planet the ray of a planet the light of a planet should also be judged with respect to the star with respect to the nakshatra where the planet is situated so to do that i have a very simple concept which i have been using since some time and because it is a very astronomically strong founded concept i am just not delving too deep into explaining it that generally people have a concept of you know taking a video and going too deep too deep into it making it a 6 7 video i don't go by this concept what i believe is that astrology is a technical intellectual science i have given you a hint rest of the mind you put which is simple if you cannot put then what i told you it is general for learners and so it is not for you then okay so my point is the nakshatras are also having impact so that's why they are identified as nakshatras and because planets are going into these nakshatras they are putting impact they are taking light from sun giving their influence to the light and giving it back to the earth and in between because nakshatras are behind the planet and planet is after the nakshatra when the light of the nakshatra is coming to the person it is the light of the nakshatra is also getting influenced by the impact of the planet right and every nakshatra have a prime star what is known as yogatara so according to me when you check a planetary position the distance of the planet from yogatara should also be taken i have made already a video on yogatara where i have told you that if a planet is in yogatara near yogatara 1 2 degrees maximum 2 degrees around yogatara the planet becomes very prominent and very powerful 
तो बेसिकली वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट एज आई एक्सप्लेन यू अर्लियर वॉट हैपन्स वेन बर्थ हैपन्स यू आर बिफोर कंसेप्शन यू आर नथिंग यू आर अ सोल इट इज बिलीव इन शास्त्रास दैट वेन टू पर्सन वेन मदर एंड फादर कॉपुलेट मेनी सोल्स आर होवरिंग अराउंड द कपल कॉपुलेटिंग and the soul whose karmas match the nature behavior character of the parent at the time of copulation enters the womb that takes that forms in the womb it lives in a altogether different environment right now you are walking on earth in womb suddenly you are not walking on earth you are floating in water right so the child the fetus is developed for 9 months and after 9 months when the child gets delivered for the first time when he is pushed out of the womb and interacts for the environment for the first time at that point of time the level of planetary energies that are present at the place where the person is born makes the complete story of astrology right so for this particular reason if someone is born in the month of summer we know that summer season is ruled by moon sorry summer season is ruled by sun so you will see generally in the times of summer may june right sun generally remains powerful either sun is exalted or near the exaltation sign right suddenly sun is powerful people born around summer season have more powerful sun as compared to people born now winter season and this is just one of the factor one of the multiple strength factors that our sages have developed right so astrology is very deep a science so deep that science cannot understand it properly and according to me science will take next more 200 300 years to understand astrology completely only after that they will be able to understand it right now they will not be able to is useless task for them to understand okay now understand the concept the strength or weakness the planet is benefic or malefic leave the word basically every planet have quality inherent quality that quality how much of that quality is present in the atmosphere when you are born decides the strength or weakness of the planet basically all the planets are incarnations of mahavishnu so technically all the planets are good no planet is bad the problem is when there is weak influence of the planet the qualities of the planets are not developed in the person if every planet is powerful what will happen a person is a king person is a chakravarti great king because he have all quality all quality in proper amount proper balance proper balance satwa all the nine planetary qualities person is a king satvik king he is like shri ram he is like shri krishna perfect personality perfect person but perfection is difficult to achieve so some planet will be more powerful some planet will be less powerful the energy will not be equally balanced and because it is not equally balanced it will either go into rajas it will either go into tamas and all other people will be either rajasik or tamasik they will not be completely satvik hence we are not in incarnations right we are either rajasik or tamasik complete satvik we cannot be complete satvik only vishnu is shri shri man mahavishnu is right now the point that i am putting is the star influence should also be checked at the time of birth position of all the nine planets should be taken with respect to the nakshatra you should see from the previous the the result of the nakshatra comes from the main star right that is yoga tara right so from one yoga tara to the next yoga tara the distance should be found out and in whatever portion of that distance the planet is situated in the result of the planet because i have told previously in the nakshatra videos also that according to parashar the planet enjoy the nakshatras like people enjoy their life partner and if the life partner is good it is a good enjoyment if the life partner is bad it is a bad enjoyment now based on this enjoyment or suffering that the planet is having they transmute the results to the nativity the person nativity is the horoscope basically nativity is the person whose horoscope is being considered right so the distance from one yoga tara to the next yoga tara should be seen and depending on how much away the planet is from one yoga tara to another yoga tara the influence of the planet should be decided now nakshatras are inherently divided into good and bad nakshatras 
However, this is for the worldly purpose only. Worldly purpose only, technically, all the nakshatras because the nakshatras are ruled by deities, gods, and like all the gods want to do good to us only, and only do bad when we are not following dharma. Basically, all the nakshatras also want to do good to the native and only harm when the native is not properly doing the, not properly following the dharma. And because everyone is Rajasik and Tamas is properly following the Dharma, this cannot be the case. Because Rajas and Tamas have this problem, proper following can only be can only happen with Sattva. Right? This needs to be understood. So from one Yoga Tara to the next Yoga Tara, the distance should be taken, it should be divided into three. It should be divided into three portions. Portion number one, planet is near to the previous Yoga Tara. Portion number three planet is next planet is closer to the next Yogutara. In both these cases, planet is good. In sorry, in both these cases, planet is powerful. Whether the planet is good or whether the planet is not, that depends on the nature of the nakshatra. For example, Pushya is a good nakshatra, Asalesha is a not so good nakshatra. So any planet closer to the naksh any planet closer to the Yogutara of Asalesha. What will happen? Will the planet become bad? Will the planet give bad result? No. As I told you, nakshatras are ruled by deities and they try to give us good result only. But because Asalesha is ruled by Sarp, Asalesha is ruled by snake, because Asalesha is a Gandhant nakshatra, greatness, as I told in Yoga Tara video, greatness will come, but that greatness will come with difficulties and challenges. First of all, person have to struggle, person have to patiently wait, then result will come. On the other hand, Pushya, also known as Tishya in Vedas, which is a very good nakshatra when a planet is closer to that Yogatara, it also gives greatness and this is rather an easy greatness. Right? Here you easily succeed without much hazard. Right? Here things are generally, here resources are generally provided to the person right from birth. Right? And the path to success is easy. Why it is easy? Because of good karma of the previous life. In Asalesha case, why it is difficult? Because of the bad karmas from the previous life. This is very simple to understand, right? The karma concept in astrology is extremely clear. And just putting a little bit of mind clarifies it even further. Right? So, as I have told in my Yogutara video, the points of Yogutara, the span of Yogutara, I have taken the same. And use based on this formula of division by three, I have made a list that I will be sharing to you. Right? Distance from one Yogatara to the another Yogatara is divided into three parts. In the first part, the planet is giving result uh, akin to the previous nakshatra, the Yogatara of the previous nakshatra. In the third part, the planet is giving result akin to the Yogatara of the next nakshatra. This can be that the planet can be in different nakshatra. It can altogether be that the planet is in different nakshatra, but still because he is closer to the Yogatara of another nakshatra, he is giving better result. Right? This needs to be understood. This is why it is told that astrology needs the blessings of Guru. Learning astrology, predicting properly through astrology needs the blessing of a Guru because one such a secret deep knowledge you should understand. The result depends on Yogatara. The, the result depends on the prime star, arch star. And when this is not taken into consideration, the result may go wrong, altogether wrong. It can be that because the planet is closer to Adra Yogatara, he is giving result as situated in Adra. But planet is situated in Mirgashira. You are predicting result according to Mirgashira, but he is giving result according to Adra. Your prediction will fail. The middle part, the middle part which I have not explained previously also forgot. In the middle part, according to me, planet becomes weak. He is not clear. He is not closer to either the previous Yogatara or the next Yogatara. In that particular scenario, because planet is reflecting the light. In the second case of scenario, planet himself is not getting much of a light, in which case the planet is not able to reflect much of a light. What happens as a result? The nature, behavior, trait, character, quality of the planet is missing or is in very less quantities in the nature of the individual and he may suffer because of it. For example, Mars. If Mars is in the middle part, the nature, quality, trait of Mars being a good commander-in-chief, being a leader, being in contact with the king, because he is commander-in-chief, he is contact with king. So being in contact with powerful people, these qualities are missing. Person is not well errors, person is not having good contacts, person is not obedient. And the issues that will arise out of it, 
consciously or subconsciously the issues that will arise out of it will be there in the life of the native if you want to understand astrology deeper and make predictions like our sages did you should understand that if mars is commander in chief what does it indicate and if that quality is present in more amount what will happen to the person if that quality is present in lesser amount what will happen to the person once you understand this psychological aspect of astrology you will be able to simply decode and once you have decoded the psychological aspect of astrology there is nothing stopping you right so much of explanation i have already done explaining each and every nakshatra will not be possible i will be sharing to you the list very very quickly right one uh, one example i can also give you at that if the video is not too long right it is fairly written so you can take note first is first yogatara where it is coming ashwini yogatara is coming at 80 degrees of aries varni yogatara is coming at 20 degrees of aries total degree difference is 12 degrees so 8 degree aries to 12 degree aries is the first part planet here gives a result of ashwini nakshatra 16 degree to 20 degree is closer to bharni yogatara planet here gives result of bharni nakshatra both this is good any planet in 12 degrees to 16 degrees of aries rashi the result of that planet becomes weak okay in the same manner 20 degree to 25 degree 36 minutes of aries rashi planet is giving result of bharni yogatara 1 degree 12 minutes to 7 degrees of taurus rashi planet is giving result of kritika yogatara 25 degree 36 minutes of aries rashi to 0 degree 12 minutes of taurus rashi planet is not giving result planet is weak the qualities traits etc of the planet will not be there in the personality of the native he will suffer on the account of this planet planet between 7 degrees to 11 degrees of taurus rashi gives a result of kritika nakshatra planet between 16 degrees to 19 degrees of uh, taurus rashi gives a result of rohini nakshatra planet between 11 degrees to 15 degrees of taurus rashi is not very good and one suffers on account of these planets because of this particular reason many a times you see an exalted moon in the horoscope of the native and still the native is suffering a lot in life right instead in fact today in consultation i was telling to a native that i have seen maximum people with exalted moon are troubled in life but one should know why sages have told good result for exalted moon why one is suffering 11 degrees to 15 degrees moon in taurus one will suffer only or 23 degree 36 minutes to 28 degree 12 minutes of moon in taurus person will also suffer right next is planet 19 degrees to 23 degree 26 minute 23 degree 36 minutes in taurus rashi gives a result of rohini nakshatra planet between 28 degree 12 minutes of taurus rashi to 3 degrees of gemini rashi gives a result of mrigashira nakshatra planets between 23 degree 36 minutes of taurus rashi to 28 degree 12 minutes of taurus rashi weak planet weak planet means you suffer on account of this planet this i will not repeat next time planet between 3 degree to 4 degree 18 minutes gives a result of mrigashira nakshatra planet between 5 degree 36 minutes to 7 degrees of gemini gives a result of adra nakshatra planet between 4 degrees 18 minutes to 5 degrees 36 minutes of gemini weak planet planet between 7 degrees to 15 degree 36 minutes of gemini gives a result of adra nakshatra planet between 24 degree 12 minutes of gemini to 3 degrees of cancer gives a result of punarvasu nakshatra planet between 15 degree 36 minutes of gemini to 24 degree 12 minutes of gemini planet is weak planet between 3 degree to 7 degree in 18 minutes of cancer gives a result of punarvasu nakshatra planet between 11 degree 36 minutes of cancer to 16 degrees of cancer gives result of pushya nakshatra planet between 7 degrees 18 minutes of cancer to 11 degree 36 minutes of cancer weak planet planet between 16 to 17 degrees of cancer gives result of pushya nakshatra 18 to 19 degrees of cancer gives result of asalesha nakshatra 17 to 18 degrees of cancer weak planet planet between 19 degrees to 25 degree 36 minutes of cancer gives result of asalesha nakshatra planet between 2 degrees 12 minutes of leo to 9 degrees of leo gives results of magha nakshatra planet between 25 degree 36 minutes of uh, cancer to 2 degree 12 minutes of cancer uh, sorry to 2 degrees 12 minutes of leo is weak planet now you understand the logic behind uh, why gandant is here right why the planet is very weak planet between 9 degrees to 14 degrees of leo gives results of magha nakshatra 19 degrees to 24 degrees of leo gives results of purva palguni nakshatra 
14 degrees to 19 degrees of Leo weak planet. Planet between 24 degrees to 27 degree, 36 minutes of Leo gives the result of Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Planet between 1 degree, 12 minutes of Virgo to 5 degrees of Virgo gives the result of Uttara Falguni Nakshatra. Planet between 27 degrees, 36 minutes to of Leo to 1 degree, 12 minutes of Virgo weak planet. 5 degrees to 10 degrees of Virgo gives the result of Uttara Falguni Nakshatra. 15 degrees to 20 degrees of Virgo gives the result of Hasta Nakshatra. And 10 degrees to 15 degrees of Virgo weak planet. So generally you will see people with strong Mercury, specifically Mercury in Virgo, that I have been thinking about, I have been thinking to, you know, share one more video on, on this particular topic in, for you in the channel. People having 10 degrees to 15 degrees Mercury, even in Virgo Rashi, which is generally considered as an exalted position of Mercury, make such foolish decisions in their life that one will call them foolish. Despite the fact that Mercury uses the Karka for intelligence, right now at his exaltation degree, maximum exaltation degree at 15 degrees of Virgo should give very good result. But this is not found to be true by experience. Same as it happens. Planet between 20 degree to 23 degree 18 minutes of Virgo gives the result of Hasta Nakshatra. 26 degree 36 minutes of Virgo to the end of Virgo gives the results of Chitra Nakshatra. Planet from 23 degrees 18 minutes of Virgo to 26 degrees 36 minutes of Virgo, weak planet. Planet between 0 degree to 6 degree 18 minutes of Libra gives the result of Chitra Nakshatra. Planet between 12 degree 36 minutes of Chitra to 19 degrees, sorry, planets between 12 degrees 36 minutes of Libra to 19 degrees of Libra gives the result of Swati Nakshatra. Planet between 6 degree 18 minutes to 12 degree 36 minutes of Chitra, sorry, Libra, weak planet. 19 degrees to 23 degree 36 minutes of Libra gives the result of Swati Nakshatra. 28 degree 12 minutes to 3 degrees of Scorpio gives the results of Iksaka Nakshatra. Planet in 23 degree 36 minutes to 28 degree 12 minutes in Libra weak planet. 3 degree to 6 degree 36 minutes of Scorpio gives the results of Iksaka Nakshatra. 10 degrees 12 minutes to 14 degrees of Scorpio gives the result of Anuradha Nakshatra. 6 degree 36 minutes of Scorpio to 10 degrees 12 minutes of Scorpio weak planet. 14 degrees to 15 degrees 36 minutes of Scorpio gives results of Anuradha Nakshatra. 17 degrees 12 minutes of Scorpio to 19 degrees gives result of Jeshta Nakshatra. Planet between 15 degree 36 minutes of Anuradha, uh, sorry, 15 degree 36 minutes of Scorpio to 17 degree 12 minutes of Scorpio, big planet in Scorpio. 19 degrees to 23 degree in Scorpio gives result of Jeshta Nakshatra. 27 degrees to 1 degrees of uh, 27 degree of Scorpio to 1 degree of Sagittarius gives a result of Mula Nakshatra. 23 degree to 27 degrees in Jeshtha, the planet, uh, sorry, 23 degrees to 27 degrees in Scorpio, weak planet. Next, 1 degree to 5 degree 18 minutes in Sagittarius gives a result of Mula Nakshatra. 9 degree 36 minutes to 14 degrees in Sagittarius gives a result of Purvashara Nakshatra. 5 degree 18 minutes to 9 degree 36 minutes in Sagittarius, weak planet. 14 degrees to 16 degrees of Sagittarius gives result of Purvashada Nakshatra. 18 degrees to 20 degrees in Sagittarius gives results of Uttarashada Nakshatra. 16 degrees to 18 degrees of Sagittarius, we plan. 20 to 22 degrees in Sagittarius gives result of Uttarashada Nakshatra. 24 to 26 degrees in Sagittarius gives results of Abhijita Nakshatra. 22 to 24 degrees in Sagittarius, we plan. Once again, 26 degree of uh, Score Sagittarius to 0 degree 36 minutes of Capricorn gives the result of Abhijit Nakshatra. 15 degrees 12 minutes of Capricorn to 10 degrees of Capricorn gives the results of Sravan Nakshatra. Planet between 0 degree 36 minutes of Capricorn to 5 degrees 12 minutes of Capricorn weak planet. Planet between 10 degrees to 13 degrees 18 minutes of Capricorn gives the result of Sravan Nakshatra. 16 degree 36 minutes of Capricorn to 20 degrees of Aquarius. Sorry, 20 degrees of Capricorn gives the results of Danisha Nakshatra. Planet between 13 degree is 18 minutes of Capricorn to 16 degree 36 minutes of Capricorn, big planet. 20 degrees of Capricorn to 0 degrees of uh, Aquarius gives results of the Nishtha Nakshatra. 10 to 20 degrees of Aquarius gives result of Satavishya Nakshatra. 0 degrees to 10 degrees of Aquarius, weak planet. 20 to 22 degree of score, uh, Aquarius gives result of Satavishya Nakshatra. 24 to 26 degree of Aquarius gives results of Purva Badra Pradha Nakshatra. 22 to 24 degree of Aquarius, we plan. 26 degree to 29 degree, 36 points in Aquarius gives results of Purva Badra Pradha Nakshatra. 3 degree, 12 minutes to 7 degrees of Pisces gives results of Uttra Badra Pradha Nakshatra. 
29 degree 36 minutes of Aquarius to 3 degrees 12 minutes of Pisces big planet. 7 degrees to 14 degrees 18 minutes Pisces gives results of Uttra Bhadra Nakshatra. 21 degree 36 minutes to 29 degree 50 minutes of Pisces gives result of uh, Revati Nakshatra. Planet between 14 degrees 18 minutes to 21 degree 36 minutes in Pisces week planet. Planet from 29 degree of Pisces to 2 degrees of Aries gives results of Revati Nakshatra. Planet between 5 degrees to 8 degrees of Aries gives results of Aswini Nakshatra. Planet between 2 degrees to 5 degrees in Aries is a weak planet. Which Nakshatra is good? Which Nakshatra is bad? What is the result of which Nakshatra? I have mentioned in many of my Nakshatra videos. I think there are more than 34, 35 Nakshatra videos in all together that I have put on YouTube, watching those videos, making extensively notes, making extensive notes, you can understand Nakshatra so deeply that no other course except for mine can give you. Right. And this I am saying not with confidence, but with surety. One. Secondarily, you should specifically because Lagana is very important point. Moon is second, very important point. Moon is also akin to Lagana. For important points for Lagana, you should check these degrees. And if Lagana is falling in a weak point, generally, because I always say Lagana is success of the native. If Lagana is bad, horoscope is useless. Sorry, if Lagana is weak, horoscope is useless. No success can be there in life. There is a life. This life is full of struggles only. Jindagi kaanto ki bayar hai. Is baat se aap compromise kar Right. So Lagana degree should be specifically deeply checked. And if Lagana is falling in a weaker point, the person have to struggle a lot. I'm not saying that there is no hope, but one have to struggle a lot. Things which people get easily, person will get by difficulty. Even after getting things, it will be very difficult to sustain. The degree of moon should also be specifically checked because moon is the karka for blessings. And be it the blessings of marriage, be it the blessings of childbirth, or be it the blessings of finances, if moon is falling into weak degrees, these things are difficult to achieve. Right. Along with this, the degrees of important planets, Lagna Lord, 5th Lord, ninth Lord should be checked. And if they are falling into weak degrees, then they, they will become weak. And the results will be weak. Basically, what I am telling you, also check the degree of the house lords. If 7th Lord is going into weak degree, marital life is very weak. It can break at any given point of time. Other than that, if it is falling into good degrees, you should check it is falling closer to the Yogatara of which Nakshatra and result according to that particular Nakshatra is found in experience. Most importantly, that nakshatra is good or bad, which decides whether marital life will be good or bad, the person will be lucky and lucky, or result of any house should be seen with much with utmost care and utmost care and uh, caution. And then results should be predicted. And in astrology, one should not hurry up before telling the results. For a particular example, take a horse. Let's take this. The table is there in front of you. So right, not right now. It will come in front of you. Just give me a second. So here is horoscope. Here is body longitude. And then a yoga radicals. Now you see in this chart what is happening. Lagna is 4 degree cancer 54 minutes. 4 degree cancer 54 minutes is basically falling between 3 degrees to 7 degrees 18 minutes which is giving result of cancer Rashi which is giving result of Punar Vasu Nakshatra. So Lagna, though Lagna is situated in Pushya Nakshatra which should make the person very fortunate, that is not the case here. It is giving result of Punar Vasu Nakshatra and because it is giving result of Punar Vasu Nakshatra, it should be predicted that person will one at one point of time. Punar Vasu means resettling. And Punar Vasavaha. That means at one point of time, person will lose everything and he will have to work hard to achieve everything all over again. Right. Secondarily, Lagna is having Mercury. Mercury is having two, Mercury is two degree cancer, 32 minutes. Two degree cancer, 32 minutes is also giving result of Punarvasu Nakshatra. Mercury is also, also situated in Punarvasu Nakshatra. So that is good. And because it is falling in a strong part, Mercury is strong. This Mercury is in Lagna also. 
right so mercury is the planet of intelligence goes into lagna the house of intelligence per intelligence person is very intelligent mercury is the karka for learning also person will be well learned mercury is the lord of the 12th house he will have good capacity to spend money also mercury is lord of the third house he will have siblings as well third house also indicate efforts the person will put efforts and he will succeed into it also now jupiter is situated in leo leo 14 degree 23 minutes 14 degrees to 19 degrees of leo is falling into weak part you can see here is falling into weak part technically jupiter is weak jupiter being karka for child being weak the person will have problem in producing child conceiving child if it is a female or will have low sperm count if it is a male because this jupiter is in the second house and weak normally people will see second house jupiter they will say the person will be very rich but according to the system i will say that not very rich there will be financial difficulties which will be true also point 1 secondarily jupiter is the lord of the 6th house 6th house lord is being weak which does indicate that person will have health problems along with this jupiter is the lord of the 9th house 9th house lord being weak that means point 1 father will not be able to do much to the native secondarily the luck will also be weak and because luck will be weak the person will take time to progress he will have to struggle a lot chances and opportunities in life will be difficult to find opportunity is equal to fortune simple simple answer Rahu is situated in the sixth house in Sagittarius Rashi. This Rahu is six degrees Sagittarius. Now you see five degree five degrees eighteen minutes of Sagittarius to nine degree thirty six minutes of Sagittarius weak. So this Rahu is also weak. So Rahu gives the cleverness that is important in twenty first century. The cleverness that is important in twenty first century what Rahu gives. That will be lacking in native and he will be cheated by others. If Rahu is weak, you will be cheated by others because you don't have cleverness. If Rahu is powerful, then to be yeah, you uh, cannot be cheated, right? You have the smartness that is needed for today's society to survive in today's society. Rahu is also there in sixth house, and because it is weak, Rahu in indicates virus, bacteria, and diseases that you can uh, get affected by by contacting with people who are already diseased. So one is highly susceptible. This person is highly susceptible to such diseases. and because of such diseases he will be much troubled also rahu is the karka for cheating as well it is in the 6th house of servants so there can be great cheatings from servant that this native will have to suffer now 7th house 7th house there is saturn 23 degree 24 minutes capricorn 23 degree 24 minutes capricorn you see uttarashada degrees 22 to 24 degree uttarashada weak point so the saturn is technically weak and because there is a weak planet in 7th house for this particular reason life partner will be weak may suffer from health issues the happiness of marriage will also be weak there will be 10% enjoyment 90% suffering for the native because it is the 7th lord who is going who is going weak the marriage will also be difficult it will be difficult to get a life partner the marriage will be delayed the enjoyment of marriage will also be delayed and because wife is a person the weakness of the person means bad health for the person also Saturn is also the lord of the eighth house, and eighth house lord is lord being weak. Eighth house indicates misfortune. It does indicate that person will be hit by many misfortunes, great losses. Generally, a, a bad negative eighth house indicates scenario such as, sir, I was to get the best job that I was preparing for since the last ten years, but I could not appear for uh, interview because my father passed away. after that i never got the chance hence this is my life now 10 years later i regret the decision such things happen because of a negative 8th house these things may happen will happen but i am putting may happen stay away from the thought of supremacy moon is 29 degree 33 minutes of pisces 9th house now 29 degree 33 minutes of pisces is giving result of revati nakshatra so moon is giving result of revati nakshatra revati is a wealth giving nakshatra moon is the karka for wealth also it is situated in the 9th house so though father from the analysis of jupiter we have already told that there will be much role of there will not be much role of father in the life of the native but because of moon though the father is absent for the maximum time while he is alive he will get great monetary benefits through his father also that is again indi point 1 point number 2 because moon is the lord of the lagna that is situated in the 9th house and lagna lord is giving the result of revati which indicates wealth the person will be wealthy now jupiter in the second house indicates that the person have to struggle in the matters of wealth now moon is telling the person will be wealthy that basically means 
here you can put remedy to a good use. You can give remedy and because Lagna Lord is indicating that the person will be rich, the remedy will miraculously work and the person will tell, sir, you have changed my life. Actually, you are having both good and bad combinations in the horoscope and with the remedy, we have only strengthened the good combination, point one. Secondarily, now we should say that Jupiter is only indicating difficulty in saving money, difficulty in earning money, but because Lagna Lord is as such, where he is giving the result of Revati Nakshatra, which indicates wealth, despite the fact that there will be difficulty in earning money because third Lord Mercury is also powerful. The person will have great patience, comes from the third house. He will be very hardworking, comes from the third house and with the approach of saving because income of money is weak because of Jupiter. So because of his virtue, because of his virtue of saving, the person will be able to make good money in life. But still, Jupiter will keep on putting problem into accumulation of money and through different, through activation of different significations of Jupiter, the person will continue to lose money. Mars is there in the 10th house, Aries Rashi, 13 degrees, 10 minutes. 13 degrees, 10 minutes, you see Ashwini Nakshatra, middle point is happening, Mars is weak. Because Mars is weak, the quality of commander, the quality of obeying, being in contact with great personality, being in contact with those people whom you can call any time and they can get any work done for you will not be there, point one. And because this 10th Lord is weak, the person will not have much name, fame, prestige and owner and just will be a normal person of the society, what we call a common man. Right, because 10th house also indicates prestige and owner, the person will not be much prestigious and much owner, just a normal life he will live. And because 10th house indicates prime karma, right? It is the 10th house in the Lagna, according to me, which decides the level of the horoscope. Lagna Lord is powerful, 10th Lord is not. Lagna Lord told that the person is having money, but now with the analysis of 10th house, we can say that the person will have money, but only that much money, which is there with, with which common people have. That basically the person have one home, two, three vehicles, a normal life of a person he is living. Right? This person will not live a great life of a rich person. That kind of life is not there. A normal life of a normal person who have how much money a normal person has, right? That much level of normal money he will be having, right? So what I am trying to emphasize here that analysis of horoscope, many people don't understand it. Analysis of horoscope is a flowing task. You have to consider every factor. This is like a game of football. This is like a game of cricket. Every player plays together, right? So you check one house after another house. And based on the strength or weakness of the house lord, you keep on modifying the prediction. And ultimately, after considering all the factors and all the factors that are there, after considering all of them, final prediction should be given. So before you speak one line of prediction, there should be 10 minutes of thought in your mind. This you should keep in mind if you want to succeed in astrology. Otherwise, success in astrology will be a dream. Mark, because Mars is weak. And it is also the Lord of the fifth house. Jupiter was the Karka for child that was also weak. So much problem in having children is there. And until and unless person marriage to a life partner who have good combinations for childbirth, childbirth will be a dream. It can be denied altogether also because both factors house Lord and significator is weak. The same analysis can be done for Venus Sun and Ketu also. But that I am not doing. And that I think it is very clear you people have understood. I have also told the main point about synthesizing. So there is nothing much till now. Right. So this is how the analysis should be made. This was one of my greatest, one of my greatest, you know, inquisitiveness. Because in astrology, some faint mention somewhere in one line is there about the ray of the planet. So I was always, what is the ray of the planet? How to decide it? If you go that planets take the light from sun, reflect that back, reflect that back. When a planet is maximum away from sun, his maximum light is reaching. When the planet is behind sun, his light is not reaching. Then that is combustion. Now combustion is mentioned alongside this particular thing, particular word. I'm not using the word. <clears throat> Along with the particular word, so of course they are not talking about combustion or retrogression of planet because they are, it is separately mentioned. Other than that, it can be taken that 
the strength of the planet if a planet is very powerful in your horoscope that meant that means when you were born the rays of the planets were very strongly present in the atmosphere where you were born but that is once again separate that is also not mentioned with this technique so this particular ray of planet what it is it is not mentioned anywhere no hint nothing is given what it is how it should work how the rishis calculated it is nowhere found not even in hints not even another line about it was there and whenever i encounter such thing i take it as a challenge to do something on it then i researched this particular formula i have used it in quite some horoscopes and have found it to be very useful with regard to what i told you the basic point with regard to that planets enjoy nakshatras and if someone is having a good life partner they will enjoy with the life partner and because they will enjoy with the life because one lives with life partner day in and out because they enjoy with the life partner they will have a happy jolly mood and because of that they will be a good person treat everyone good and things will happen people around him will be happy if one is having bad life partner they will always be sad and angry <clears throat> and people around them will suffer right in the same manner planets enjoy the result from nakshatras also and whatever good or bad enjoyment they are having they are also giving a result accordingly so with this particular technique you synthesize the result of nakshatra and planet and then predict it so this becomes a superior technique and because i have developed it all by myself i know how the technique works so what i will say when you talk of the result of planet this technique is one of the very superior techniques you know sometime uh some people call me sir in, in one of your videos you talked about this technique it, is it the most powerful technique is it the most important technique see if any technique is non useful we will say, we will throw it out of astrology so this is non useful technique so every technique is powerful you have to take four five powerful techniques together and because using one funda you cannot give answer if a planet is powerful but the rashi lord is not powerful can you predict result no the planet have to be powerful also rashi lord have to be powerful also so you will consider three four factors so out of the three four factors that we will consider the strength of the planet along with this this factor should also be considered and after these two factors only prediction should be told according to me for the strength of planet there is no third factor strength of the planet as per shedbal and all the different aspects of shedbal the strength of the rashi the strength of the rashi lord all the strength that i have taught up to this extent to all of my courses and in videos also those strength plus this strength these two factors should be judged together and a result you should come at a conclusion and then predict the result both of these should be importantly used right it is not like if you are using te one technique you will not use another technique use both the techniques synthesize and then tell result and when you do this then i can guarantee you 100% prediction in all your success thank you for watching the video